everything I do, including the way I dress and even my makeup. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I sent me on Instagram. My boyfriend and I have been together on and off for a year. From the beginning of the relationship, he started controlling the way that I dressed. He didn't like me wearing any tight clothes, short skirts or crop tops, anything that showed cleavage. He didn't even like me wearing any bathing suits or bikinis to the beach. I had to cover myself with a towel the entire time. This would obviously enrage me and we would get into really severe fights because of it. I told him I needed a break because I didn't like being controlled. Of course, he got upset and told me that we should just break up. Two months later, he messaged me on Instagram and we started seeing each other again. But of course, this time I told him that things were going to be different. At first, he agreed that he wouldn't control the way that I dressed. But instead, he started controlling things like my hair and my makeup. He didn't want me to wear any makeup. Like, zero. Anytime we would hang out, he would automatically tell me to take off my lipstick. He said it called too much attention to my face. And he threatened to break up with me because obviously, I was wanting attention from other men. That's when I calmly explained to him that I wore makeup for myself and not for anyone else. Not even for him. Then he did the unthinkable. He grabbed a handful of my makeup and threw it into the toilet. Part two was up. That's when he grabbed a handful of my expensive makeup and threw it into the toilet. Disclaimers into my story time. Then he basically told me that he forbade me from ever wearing makeup again. That's when he also told me that he wanted me to close down my Instagram and that there were too many men commenting on my pictures telling me how beautiful I was. He told me I needed to grow up and become more mature instead of looking for men online. I told him that he was being jealous and insecure. That's when he got really mad. He told me the only person that I should want to look good for is him. Then he went around my bedroom looking for my makeup. He was in such a rage that I was afraid he was going to do something to me. Then he found my curling and straightening iron. He started trying to break him against my desk. That's when I told him I needed him to leave and that if he didn't leave, I would call the cops. He started laughing at me and told me that no cop would take me seriously, but he did end up leaving. We didn't speak for three weeks until he called me apologizing. I told him that there was no way I could accept him back into my life because he was too controlling. Then he asked me out for dinner, telling me he wanted to apologize to me. At this point, I still had feelings for him, so I said yes. And guess what? We ended up getting back together, but things only got worse. Part three is up. Part 3 of different controls everything I do, including the way that I dress. I made the mistake of taking him back for a second time. For the first few weeks, he was on his best behavior. We would go out to dinners and I would dress really cute and do my makeup and hair. Obviously, I could tell that it bothered him, but he was making an effort not to say anything or cause any fights. Here's when things get worse. My best friend had planned a whole party for my birthday. She even got a band and catering. I decided I wanted to buy a beautiful outfit. So my best friend and I go shopping. My boyfriend asked me if he could tag along and I had no choice but to say yes. As we were shopping, he started making little comments about dresses that I picked. He would say things like, wow, that's really short. Obviously, I didn't want to make a scene in front of my best friend, so I just ignored his comments. I finally chose a backless dress. It was so beautiful and I loved it so much. When I tried it on, my best friend complimented me, but all my boyfriend said was, you look like a slut. That's when all hell broke loose. My best friend got right up in his face and told him that he couldn't come to the party. Of course, he got right up in her face too. He started attacking her with words. He told her she was a wannabe Kardashian, but that she would never be as beautiful. This all happened in like 10 seconds. I told my boyfriend to leave and he did. I asked him not to come to my birthday party, but he did anyway. As soon as he saw me, he pulled me aside and told me to change. And he even brought me this horrible dress to put on. That's when I had security kick him out. I called his mother and told her everything. And she's furious because she loves me. How should I break up with him? Me and my ex-fiance have been together for me and my ex-fiance have been together for almost six years and engaged for about four of those six years. I was introduced to her by a close friend at a party and we just clicked. She was attractive, had a great personality, and had similar hobbies as me, which made it perfect. Back in April of this year, I started noticing little changes in her. She started wearing more revealing clothes to work, started putting on more makeup, and etc. To be honest, I had no problem with any of that stuff as it's her body. But what made things worse for me was when she started coming home late from work or how instead of spending the weekend off with me, since we both had weekends off from work, she instead would always go out. I once had asked her why she never invited me to come out with her, to which she replied it's only girls not out and her other friends would not be happy if I tagged along as they were not bringing their own BF with them. It all came crashing down when me and her had a huge fight in June because she had decided instead of going out on a date with me, she told me how she had already made plans with her friends and that it was rude of her to cancel. That was it for me. I fucking blew up on her and we had a huge fight which resulted in her packing her bags and leaving. I didn't hear from her for almost a week, none of her friends knew where she was going and heck, none of her folks even knew what was going on until she finally contacted me and wanted to talk. Imagine my surprise when she confessed to me that there was another guy involved and how all this time she was hanging out with him and lying to me about hanging with her friends. I fucking blew up. I wanted nothing to do with her and was going to break up with her until she got on her knees and begged me to give her a second chance, which my dumbass self did, but only after she revealed everything to me. It made me sick to my fucking stomach, but in the end, I forgave her and told her to delete all contact with the guy and that I expect her to have no contact with him going forward, which she promised and things kind of went back to before. We were even spending more time together, but that feeling, that trust, wasn't there anymore. Everything was kind of okay until two weeks ago when a friend of mine who was visiting another city, which was three hours from where I live, sent me a picture and message saying, sorry bro, that broke my already broken heart into a billion little pieces. The picture was of my ex-fiance at a mall three hours away from where we lived holding hands with some stranger who I didn't know. I fucking broke down. I was heartbroken. I was so mad because I thought she was at work while in reality she was three hours away holding hands with her lover. When I got home from work, I waited for her and decided that I was going to confront her when she got home. Part 2, my ex did something terrible because I wouldn't take her back and now I'm being blamed for everything. 
When I got home from work, I waited for her and right away confronted her to which she denied and called me a psycho for not believing her. She also said that I was a piece of shit for not trusting her until I showed her a picture that my friend sent me. Her face told me everything and that's when the waterworks started and I knew that I had made a huge mistake in taking her back so I ended it. She cried and begged me to think it over and not throw away everything that we have together which made me really angry and I'm not gonna lie but I hit her. I wasn't proud, I'm still not, but saying shit like not to throw everything away when it was her who threw everything away pissed me off to the max. I told her to pack her shit and leave, called her parents and mine and told them everything. Her parents came to help her and I told them basically to F off after they told me to think it over and to make the right decision before actually ending it. She begged me again not to end things but I had to for my own peace of mind. I didn't hear from her or her parents until three days ago when my parents called me to let me know that my ex-fiance had unalived herself. Her parents found her and she had left a letter apologizing to everyone including my parents and me. She said she's sorry from the bottom of her heart for what she did to me and that she can't live without me and that's why she ended it. I'm at a fucking loss. My ex-fiance's friends and family are blaming me and my own mother told me that it was my fault. She told me that I should have forgiven her since I'm clearly worth committing blank over. I need some serious advice as I'm pretty much being cornered by basically everyone and I really don't know what else to do. Is this all really my fault? Story time about how I caught my boyfriend cheating on me with my dad's girlfriend. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. My boyfriend and I had been together for five months. We met through Instagram, of course. Now my dad and his girlfriend have been together for two years. They have a really toxic relationship. She constantly tries to make him jealous and my dad does not trust her at all. My dad has a lot of money and women always want to date him. I mean, he has options. He doesn't need to be with this woman. When they first moved in together, my dad had a Rolex and several thousand dollars go missing. He also caught her snooping around his desk one time. She denied having stolen anything and she threatened my dad to break up with him. Of course, my dad begged her to stay. My dad's girlfriend, let's call her Annie. Annie and I started going out together. She's 10 years older than me, so we got along pretty well. My dad would ask me to keep an eye on her every time we went out, but without fail, she would flirt with every single guy at the bar. But I didn't have the heart to tell my dad. Eventually, I met my future boyfriend and we hit it off right away because we both love Harry Potter. Of course, Annie wanted to go out with us all the time. One day, I come home early from school and I find them on the couch doing very dirty things to each other. They were full on making out. I pulled out my phone and started recording. Part two is up. I walk in to find my boyfriend and my dad's girlfriend full on making out on the couch. Disclaimer is in my story time. My instinct was to pull out my phone and start recording. So I did. I knew that when I told my dad, she would deny it. So I wanted to have solid proof of this. I've been with my boyfriend for five months at this point. I can't say I knew him 100%, but I never expected him to cheat on me with my dad's girlfriend. Finally, my boyfriend goes to take off his shirt and sees me. He freaks out. He basically throws her off of him. She lands on the floor. That's when she starts laughing and says that they were just playing a joke on me. Um, no, you weren't. My boyfriend told her to shut up. He then straight up ran away from my house. He told me he never wanted to see me or my effed up family again. Um, I'm the effed up one? When my dad got home, I showed him the video of his girlfriend making out with my boyfriend. My dad went up the stairs, packed her bags, and threw her out of the house. It was raining, by the way, and he took away her car keys because he had bought her a new Tesla. But she denied everything. Part three is up. After my dad kicked her out, she sat in the rain with all of her bags. She kept denying that she cheated on him with my boyfriend, even though I had video proof of it. Okay, so here's the really messed up part. My dad ended up taking her back. She came back and begged him for forgiveness. And when he took her back, I just cried. It's as if she put a spell on my dad. He even gave her back the Tesla he bought her. Now that she's back in the house, I can't stand to see her. So my dad is getting me my own apartment. I love living with my dad, but I can't stand that woman. My apartment is so beautiful. I get tons of natural sunlight and I have my friends over all the time. A little update on my ex. Remember he told me to never contact him again? He asked one of my friends for my address and they gave it to him. Yes, I was very angry at my friend, by the way. He showed up to my apartment and begged me for forgiveness. He told me that I was the best thing that ever happened to him and that he was really sorry. I asked him why he cheated on me with my dad's girlfriend and he told me that she just has this thing and that for some reason guys are just super attracted to her. I mean, I think this woman is a witch. He told me he couldn't control it. I'm actually considering giving him a second chance. I know I shouldn't, but I still like him. He bought me a Chanel bag and has been bringing me food every single day. I hate myself for wanting to take him back. What should I do?